Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try a hot pocket. Yep, a hot pocket. Uh, steak and cheddar hot pocket. I haven't. I've, there's a lot of hot pockets that I've never tried. So, uh, uh, or if I did try them, it's been ages and ages ago. So I'm gonna try one. Um, this is the Angus, Angus steak and cheddar. It's uh, cheese with a. Um, let me read that again. Angus steak and cheddar cheese with sauce and a crispy buttery crust. There we go. That worked better. We got these at Walmart for $1.93, which is a pretty good price because you get two sandwiches in each box. You know, that's like less than a dollar a piece, so that's pretty good. Uh, 310 calories per sandwich, and there's some other information, but I'll flip it over as always. Good source of protein, um, made with real cheese, no artificial flavors, cooked thoroughly. Um, I opened it just so I wouldn't have to struggle with it. So one sandwich is 310 calories, and here's the other information. Sodium's pretty high. I've had worse, but that's, that's, that's not low either. Um, cholesterol 20 milligrams, 10 grams of protein, so that's pretty good. At least you'll stay full a little longer. Um, okay, so let me fix these things. I haven't made a hot pocket in ages. Okay, I don't think those are in English. Oh, it's right here. Duh. <laughs> I was looking right at it. Okay, so what we're going to do, unwrap the sandwich, insert it in the crisping sleeve, and place on a paper plate. Hey, I got plenty of paper plates. Um, cooking time one sandwich is two minutes and ten seconds, and that's pretty much the. I've got a. I think this one's like a, a thousand watt microwave, so it should be good. And if it's lower wattage, of course you do it long, longer. So two ten, and then basically enjoy your hot pocket sandwich with a side of fruit or vegetables. That's what you should always do. So um, so put it in the crisping sleeve and two ten. So these are all going to look. All hot pockets pretty much look the same. Unless they've got like weird uh, bread, but you basically open it up, slide it in that little uh, packet, and then you uh, and you heat it up. And just know that when I take it out, I'm not going to eat it out of the sleeve. I'm going to take it out of the sleeve and cut it because I know people make fun of me from eating it that way, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, it's a good thing you put it on a paper plate because that made a mess. It splattered and exploded out the side. So this is how you put it in the sleeve, by the way, just in case you've never had a hot pocket. Um, and you can open them, you can tear, you're supposed to be able to just tear it, eat it. I just never do it that way. I just take it out of the sleeve, which I don't even know. Probably have to run a knife down there to get it out. But anyway, I'm going to get this out and uh, oh, there we go. let me get it out of here. Let me cut. Let me cut it in half for you so you can see what it looks like. I do have to say it smells pretty good. Hard to cut something with one hand. All right. It's the filling inside. So steak and cheese. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and I'll be back. All right, it's that time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm gonna take. It's got uh, steak and cheese in it. I always cut it in the squares just so I can just pick them up and eat them. I know you can eat the whole pocket, but I just don't do it that way. It was a big bite. Um, I like the, the steak flavor. The cheese flavor is really good. Uh, really good flavors. The bread has a really good texture to it. It's um, It's got a crispness to it on the outside, but it's also got a chewiness to it, which I like. Kind of like a, kind of like a pretzel bread almost, but um, it's really good. It's got really, like I said, a really, really good flavor, really good texture. Um, I like these. Hot Pockets overall, um, any Hot Pocket I've had, they're actually pretty good. They're cheap and they have pretty good flavors. So I'm gonna give this one a four. Definitely not one I'd buy all the time. I mean, I wouldn't eat a Hot Pocket every single day of my life, but um, but definitely worth trying out if you've never tried this before. Uh, they've been out forever. Um, but if you haven't tried this flavor before, it's really good. So you should give it a try. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. 